97. Dang it! I'm a dollar short. Dion, do you have a dollar I can borrow? Man, y'all all know that my ass is always broke. I got two kids, single dad, and I got another speeding ticket on the freeway. Dion, yeah, quit it. complaining. Yeah. Hey, Greta, do you have a dollar? No, I just have a 20, and that's for uh, for me to buy ice cream for tonight. Well, I just need one dollar. I'll, I'll give you change. I just need a buck. I'm sorry. All right. I need ice cream. I see one dollar. You have no idea how important this dollar is. Since 1977, Crisis Nursery has cared for children traumatized by abuse, neglect, and homelessness. It's a story that's told over and over by children yearning for comfort and a place to call home. Frightening stories where they've seen a sibling murdered. There's a lot of families out there and a lot of children in danger. Abuse that should never be seen and the child thinking that that's normal. The top issues that we see are domestic violence. One of the parents have killed the other. Homelessness, financial issues, mental health issues for the parents. The parent killed themselves, and the children have had to see that, and also drug use. Every year, new faces longing for safety and security. As our community grows, so do the needs of the children we serve. What are you doing? I'm trying to clean up. I thought I told you to get you. Get the kids out of here right now. I don't care! I want you out! I want you out! We're get you and your little guts out of here right now! Get him out of here right now! You too, you little brat! Don't you think you can no, stay? No, get out of here! Get out of here! Marina and her two boys needed support after she left her abusive husband. Faces was there for her family as she picked up the pieces of her life. No, no podía dormir. I wasn't able to sleep. Would I just have to go back to the way things were, to that same violent home life? Keeping her children safe was a daily struggle. My life was full of stress and worry. I had to work, and I had no place to leave my children. Parents fighting to build a better life for their children need stability, education, and the kind of support that Crisis Nursery provides. Basis works with the parents to find out what's going on for them, and how they can support the child, not only just in the classroom, but at home. I'm like a sponge. I try to absorb everything I can, because that really helps me at home or any place I might find myself with my children. Crisis nursery programs help children learn the skills and find the emotional strength they need to be successful. When I'm faces, my older son, who is four years old, was very insecure. He was very fearful. And now he's really coming out of himself, and I owe it all to the FACES program. To me, my children's future looks bright. They're getting their basic education at an early age, and they are going to be, well, they're my children, an asset to society. Crisis Nursery's programs are designed to provide support for children and families in their time of need. Through our foster care programs, Crisis Nursery educates caring families and individuals willing to care for children on a temporary basis. You have to have someone who's really open and caring and warm and basically able to roll with the punches. I have a little girl that is almost 19 months old. She is bright, fun, smart, energetic. Moved by compassion, Carrie found the strength in her heart and made the commitment to become a crisis nursery foster parent. Sierra came into care for neglect. Her mom has some um, untreated mental health issues and she was homeless. Becoming a foster parent is a serious long-term commitment. To prepare for the challenges ahead, a series of training classes and assessments are required. I learned about um, different behaviors that the kids in care may have and how to help them through them. Crisis Nursery encourages foster families to maintain contact with the birth families through shared parenting. I have a relationship and contact with Sierra's birth mother. We are able to talk to each other about Sierra, what's best for her, especially in the beginning when I wasn't sure what she liked to eat or 
or what her routine was. Our hope is that children in foster care are reunited with their birth families if that's in their best interest. Crisis Nursery provides supervised visitation so families can work towards this goal. She has visitations with her mother, other supervised visits. Right now she sees her for about four hours a week. Children once destined for neglect or worse have found angels to care for them while their birth parents do what they must to put their lives back together. Obviously that the goal is reunification and so that's what we want, but I've bonded with her, I love her, and um, it is going to be rough when she goes home. I've cried about it just thinking about her not being there. We were forced to make some hard decisions last year, and we cut capacity at our shelter, knowing that we have families in the community that need those services, but we were unable to support them. Needs have no boundaries, and what we see is it doesn't discriminate against a race, against age, against gender. Though we wanted to do the, as much as we could for them, our resources were just completely tapped. Since we're full, we're full. The reasons children and parents must turn to Crisis Nursery are more familiar than you might think. There are reasons that some people fall harder than others. Uh, they may not have any kind of a cushion of money uh, to be able to get treatment or insurance to be able to get treatment. Nothing. Maybe if you actually just visit, nothing. maybe if you just try like, to get a better job, maybe I could do something. Shut up! Maybe like, Shut up! Don't bring my job into this, okay? 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 There are problems every family faces. Many families may be going through financial hardship, all too common in today's world. If you get behind, you just can't catch up. The reason we got behind in rent was he needed glasses and I didn't have insurance and I paid $400 and it's hard to make that up. She was having difficulty with her housing. They were, they were going to be evicted and she had nowhere to go. We were staying in a weekly motel that was close to his school and close to my work. The environment is not what you want a little boy. While she worked to put the pieces of her life back together, Roberta found help and a place for her son Robert to stay at Crisis Nursery's Children's Shelter. It's hard to trust people. Um, you can't just leave him with anybody. He's your son. He's your world. I think people um, automatically think if you have to place your child that you must have some kind of drug problem or um, alcohol problem. And that's not the case. I felt like a bad mother. And when I talked to them, they reassured me. They understood how I felt. It's a place where parents can come to find safety and haven for their kids while they're dealing with problems of their own. I thought it was going to be um, pretty much cots on the floor or maybe sleeping bags and they had four beds in each room. Toys everywhere. That made Robert just ecstatic. When he was here, one of the workers taught him how to ride his bike, so he was all excited about that. She was so engaged with the social workers, with her child. She was working hard, she was working full time, so it's not like she wasn't trying to get back on her feet. It took a process to get the red money together, to get her utilities all situated. But she was always so thankful and grateful. Without Crisis Nursery, I think things would have got a lot worse before they ever got better. In an economy where state and national funds for nonprofits have begun to vanish, Crisis Nursery needs your help more than ever. We've seen a significant drop in governmental funding at the same point in time an increased need by families in our community for the services we provide. It comes down to life or death. If they didn't have this to go to, where would they go? You'd have a lot of kids living on the street with their parents, which I've seen, staying like in parks and stuff with their kids, and that's just heartbreaking. Without you, families like Roberta's, Marina's, and so many others would have nowhere to turn to find the help they need to rebuild, to strengthen their families, and to help their children succeed. Success that is only possible with your help. We're actually helping families and children feel hope when there's been hopelessness. We're really making a difference, not just for a day or a month or even a year, but lifelong differences for these families and kids. There's a lot of children in need in our community. The more that we can give makes a world of difference to that child. It could mean a warm meal or it could be a warm bed to sleep in. We make one day a little bit better for every child that we serve. Crisis Nursery needs you now more than ever.